snow and winds can stop Muslims and non-Muslims alike from attending the 11th annual Eid Banquet. Engaging speakers and authentic food marked the 11th annual Eid Banquet at the Commons Dining Hall. The banquet is not only a celebration of a Muslim holiday, but a showcase of the vibrant Muslim community at Yale and a recognition of the expansive spectrum of beliefs here, thanks in part to the Muslim Students Association. I think one of the coolest things and one of the most unique things about this MSA is given the smaller size, it still, it still maintains a really, really active level of involvement and a, an incredible effort to kind of reach out into the community at large and bring people in. You know, the Muslim community, like every other community, you have a spectrum. You have some very observant and conservative, uh, you know, members, and you have some very, you have some less observant and some more liberal community members. This, because it's a cultural, you know, event with a religious sort of message in it, this brings everybody from across the spectrum. Over the years, the Eid Banquet has firmly embedded itself into the campus consciousness. Reservation spots filled up with hundreds of students and faculty members in a snap as the banquet became one of the go-to events of the year especially for non-Muslims curious about Islam. This is a very Yale-oriented Eid and is less focused on the, the textual and scriptural exact interpretation of this holiday um, and more on the core values behind this holiday. And I'm non-Muslim, but what I can take away from it is some of the foundational values like faith and community and sacrifice. Speakers of the ceremony included Kimberly Goff Cruz, Yale Law School graduate, Didam Kaya, a freshman in Calhoun, Rakeem Azumder, a senior in Pearson, and Harun Mok, who delivered the keynote address. So I think the more you can get out of your comfort zone while you're at a place like this, the better off you're going to be. You'll get African-American Muslims, Turkish Muslims, Russian Muslims, and meet a Muslim from maybe Bosnia or Macedonia or Senegal, and they have their own Islamic practices and traditions, and it forces you to ask, well, what here is my religion, what is culture, those kind of questions I think really come up. If another year passes, the Eid Banquet has yet again opened cultural and religious dialogue and served delicious food here at Yale. Reporting for YDN Multimedia, I'm Patrice Bowman with Annalisa Leinbach.